Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty big and exciting announcement for you. At least for me it's very exciting, so I really hope it is as exciting for you as it is for me. And I'm finally opening an online store! Um, for, for some of you may be a surprise, for others may not, because I've been meaning to do this for such a long time. A few years actually. And yeah, I'm very excited, as you may be able to tell by my voice. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I finally had the courage to do it. I know this is a fairly strange time to open an online store because of what's happening outside. I think it's better to launch it now than to wait for this to be over and then get cold feet again, because I was very close to opening a store like a couple years ago. And then I got cold feet and never did it. And I think now, even though with everything that's happening outside, may not be a wise decision in terms of business-like thinking things. <laughs> but in my mind, I think it's the perfect timing. I don't know if this makes any sense, but in terms of my mindset in, ter in relation to the opening of the store, I think this is the right timing. So, yeah, I've been working on this for a little bit and I'm using Gumroad because it is a little bit more intuitive than many other websites I explored. And I'm not sponsored by them, but I think it's going on pretty well. I'm using the free version still. I may choose the paid version later on. But for now, I'm starting slow with it, and I'm using the free version because even though it has a couple limitations, it is easy to set up, which I think I already told you. And since for me, sometimes computers work in mysterious ways, <laughs> I think the simpler the best for me. So this video... Because, as I just said, um, the computers sometimes work in mysterious ways, in my eyes. Today is not about setting up the store. Today is about the thought process behind the logo and the pattern design and all of that. And because of that mysterious thing computers do... <laughs> I am not going to be showing you the digital part of vectorizing the pattern and the logo or turning a drawing into a pattern or anything because I have no idea what I'm doing in that regard. I just know the traditional pen and ink part of things and then the digital one I was following a Skillshare course to, I'm not sponsored by them either, I just paid for the subscription. So yeah, I have no idea what I was doing. I was just following a, tutor a tutorial on how to do it and maybe after a few times I will understand what I'm doing instead of blindly clicking buttons. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I feel very dumb with computers. It's just things, you know? Technology is confusing for an old person like me. Although I'm only 20 years old. But sometimes I feel very old with technology, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah. the um, Now with all of these... Oh no, I forgot to tell you something. Um, I will be listing mostly physical products in the store. But right now I don't feel confident and safe enough to go to the post office and mail out things, so I will put those in pre-order until things get calmer outside. And yeah, until I'm able to go outside to the post office without being absolutely scared of whatever is going on. So yeah. <laughs> now that with all of that out of the way, um, I want to get into the design process of this. 
I am not a designer. I will start by doing by, by saying that uh, my course, the course I took was printmaking, like the traditional ways of printmaking. Not all of them, but a few. I didn't take any design course. I'm following things that I heard in classes, videos, and a two-week thing I had at school that was like showing off the design course. Just, you know. So I'm mostly going off logics, <laughs> like what makes sense to me and what I learn for from interacting with design teachers and videos somewhere on YouTube. So <laughs> don't take this as a way of, to do things. It's just the process I took or the way, the path I took to do this, okay? So while designing this logo, I had to keep in mind a few things. What I was using it for, so the store logo and social media, because I may later on create a social media handle for this. Not sure yet. And also, because my store is about prints, I actually really, really want, and I think it may be next video, I really want to make a custom stamp based on the logo, because I want to be able, when I start st selling things like physical prints, I want to be able to stamp a thank you card and like with the logo and then write by hand the thank you note that I want to be able to stamp the logo on the envelope or on the thank you card or in business cards. So yeah, I want a custom stamp. And for that reason, I need... For those reasons, not that reason, those reasons, I have a few limitations. So, because the online part, like the store and the social media sites, will display the logo very small, this needs to be very high contrast and very easy to read in a tiny format. I also needed it to be high contrast because to, when you do a stamp, you only have either colored or paper. You know, like the color of the paper or the color of the ink. So unless you are doing a very complicated print, which is not the case, you need to work in super high contrast, like black and white. No more, <laughs> you know, no more colors. So I did all of this thinking as I would if I was going to do a stamp, which I am. So that was the way I was thinking about it. Now, I also, because of the stamp thing and because it has to be readable when it's tiny, I need the lines, either the white lines or the black lines, no matter the color, I needed them to be fairly thick. Because if you have very thin lines, you need to be very careful when you are stamping, you need to be very careful for the paper, like the white lines, they cannot be too thin, otherwise they will be clogged by the ink. And the dark lines can't be too thin, otherwise they will not pick up enough ink. So it's a very... You have to be very careful with how thin lines can be, or how tiny surfaces of a particular color can be, be it white or black, it doesn't matter. And the stamp will be about 5 by 5 centimeters, so roughly 2 by 2 inches, I think. Um, so it can fit on post-it notes or business card sized papers and things like that. So with all of that in mind, I went on and started sketching. Now, the I don't think I told you the name yet. The name is Fish and Prince, by the way. And with all of that in mind, I decided to 
start from the name and from the purpose of the store. Now, the idea for the name Fish and Prince came from a silly pun because, first of all, I love puns. I, I'm, I love silly wordplay. And because I love fish, as you can tell by my name on YouTube like and on Instagram, because Karpokoi, why would I set that as my handle if I didn't love fish, right? <laughs> so yeah, I really like fish. And as you can tell by all of this conversation so far, I also absolutely love printmaking, even though I stumbled on it on my like the reason why I do print why I am into printmaking is basically an accident. But I love it, I fell in love with it. And yeah, so I thought it would be funny to call it fish and prints because printmaking prints, fish fish, you know? And because it sounds a lot like fish and chips, and fish and chips is pretty good. I actually really like it. But I thought it would be funny the way it sounds, and it it feels a little bit childish to say it. And I really wanted the store to be a fun place. And I say this because... Sometimes art is very serious, but it doesn't have to always be so serious. And calling it Fish and Prints actually encourages me to do more fun things as well. And I did, because of that, while I was thinking of how I wanted to pass the message from the name to the logo, I chose a very simplified way of drawing a fish like the same way a child would draw it because it looks way more fun it's readable in tiny 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 logo form and it's fun it's just I really like it <laughs> and I also decided to include a couple elements related to printmaking and since the whole purpose of printmaking is repetition and reproduction of pieces of art. I thought it would be interesting and actually quite funny to have one of those fishes be printed on various pieces of paper, even though it's just a quick doodle of a fish. So I have three paper brayer. Brayer? A roller? Wait, now I got confused. I think it's a brayer. Is that how you call it? What's the name? So, basically it is something you use to apply the ink when you are doing lino print or woodblock printing. And yeah, I think the way it looks actually shows pretty nicely what I want to say with the store and what I want to say with my prints and that is how fun and awesome the printmaking process is. I absolutely love the process of creating a print sometimes even more than the finished product. And I really wanted to express that with the logo and have the prayer there as a symbol of the process and have that be one of the focus of the, of the logo. So kind of like an illustration, but tiny, you know? I hope this whole video is making sense somehow, but Brains don't always make sense, so I'm sorry if this whole video doesn't make any sense to you. <laughs> now, I after thinking for a long time and sketching a bunch of ideas, I ended up using one of the versions for the logo and another one as a base for the repeat pattern. 
the one I used for the logo is the one with the brayer, because I think the brayer is very important, as I just told you. And then the other one is, um, for me it's one of the most fun ones, but I thought it didn't include the process part that's so important to me. But I thought it would be interesting for a repeat pattern, because I chose, I chose the one that is a bunch of leaves or sheets of paper that are just scattered around. And I think I made sure to draw the fish on the same place and facing the same side of the leaf in every single one. So they actually look like prints scattered around. And I think it makes the website look pretty funny because it looks like I just well I put so much work into making these prints and then I just dump them all around for you to see them so I think it's kind of funny and cute in there in some way and I think it's exactly what I was looking for it may not be the best design in the world, it may not be, it is not perfect at all, but it may not be the best design that I could come up with, but it is the one that makes me happy and I think that's the most important thing right now. And I think that this whole process gave me a little bit of a hint on why I enjoy printmaking so much. So I think I think it's time for me to tell you next video is going to be a printmaking video because I'm going to be making the stamp and I'm very excited about it because I've been missing printmaking so freaking much. But yeah, um, the pattern, I'm not teaching you how to make it today um, because I don't know the digital part yet very well. But one day when I understand the process a little bit better, I'll do a fairly quick tutorial here just for you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I explained everything I know how to explain. <laughs> I hope this video was not too boring for you, I hope it doesn't feel like a, I don't know how many minutes this is, but like, I hope this doesn't look like a 15 minute ad. I think it is a little, I hope it is a little bit fun for you to watch or to listen to. If you did reach this part of the video, thank you very much for watching. Seriously, thank you a lot. Thank you very much for watching not just this video, but the last few videos did pretty well uh, comparing to the older ones. And thank you very much for that as well. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the, the star if you have a minute or, or two. It doesn't take a long time. It's the store is pretty empty right now. Um, if you want to be part of the newsletter, then don't forget to put your email there. It's all run by Gumroad. I don't have access to anyone's email, I think. It just shows as a number. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of this. I hope you are as excited as I am. And I will see you next week. Bye!